We are now in Idlib uh, province in uh, Syria. Now several of these uh, green buses arrive uh, here in uh, Hama on a daily basis. Now you just saw some of the uh, refugees that are leaving the buses. Now the procedure is uh, first they uh, go to see the doctors and uh, see whether they need any medical help at all. Uh, then they move on with their belongings to the uh, to receive humanitarian aid. The southern part of the city has been successfully demined. All explosives have been removed, but the militants did plenty to damage the city's infrastructure, including the water supply. Now, with people coming back to their homes, we're doing everything possible to restore services. According to sources, thousands of people cross the border from Italy every single day. They're, they're being greeted uh, by scores of people here in government-controlled uh, Syria. And according to sources from the military, about 90% uh, of the territory in Syria is now free. Syrian army claims that uh, this cave in Idlib province was used as a base for some three and a half thousand terrorists. The terrorists were completely autonomous. According to military officials, they found a command center along with a detailed map of the recently liberated Han Sheikhoun area. This particular cave was a real fortress with an area of around 10,000 square meters fully equipped with various weapons. Another recent discovery is the drone factory. Terrorists use these UAVs for both reconnaissance and to deliver bombs. According to experts, some of the drones were so sophisticated that they could fly as high as 4,000 meters and as far as 150 kilometers. Roman Kosrev, RT, Han Sheikhoun, Syria.